much indeed for staying with Morning Live as we continue this beautiful broadcast that we're having out at Ngambeni Safari Camp on the border of Kruger National Park. We are in uh, the Mpumalanga province this morning for the World Tourism Day and remember that last month Lien was in Dalstrom uh, in the very same province for the official launch of uh, the Tourism Month. So now I'm joined by the MEC responsible for finance, economic development and tourism in the province of Mpumalanga, MEC Skumbu Sokulwani. MEC, good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. Uh, good morning to you and your viewers at home. Yeah. And uh, we, we were all hoping we uh, will see Langa coming out because we are in Pumalanga. But uh, the weather, very cloudy this morning, rain last night, very windy. Uh, actually, we are blessed uh, that uh, we don't have the sun today uh, because we needed rain so that uh, our wild animals uh, can survive uh, because we are doing so great in tourism because of our wildlife animals and if there is no rain, uh, we might lose them. Uh, true, true indeed. Well, we, we need rain throughout. But let's talk about... Uh the importance of hosting this uh, tourism day and uh, the month itself as we know that it was launched last month here in, in the province. What does it mean to the province? Uh, let me start by thanking the National Department of Tourism by allowing us uh, to host uh, this event today. To the province, I think it has assisted us to put us on the map. Um, and what we have decided actually as a province was that the entire year will be a tourism year. Uh, even post today, we are going to continue with activities around tourism. It has also assisted to bring uh, the eyes uh, through the world and also the national into our province so that we can uh, showcase on what we are offering as a province. As you know that uh, most people when they think of Pumalanga, they think about Kruger National Park, uh, but that's not the case. We've got quite a lot to offer, as I've indicated earlier, that uh, part of the issues which we are busy dealing with now as a province is that we've got the court's window, but we want to put the skywalk which will be the second uh, largest in the world. Um, around the three runnivals, we are going to put the cable car so that people, they don't go somewhere else to just see a cable car. They can just use the cable car here to be close up and personal with our beautiful nature of our mountains and so on. We are also going to ensure that in these areas like uh, the Blade site, we are putting a five-star hotel because we have realized that most people, they come and go so we want them to stay so that whilst they enjoy themselves we are nicely sucking their dollars <laughs> uh, so that uh, they remain in the province yeah. but we're also going to focus moving forward on what you call the township tourism we think that we have not been doing well so what we are engaging now uh, we're going to engage with sun parks so that we can see whether we can find the new gates uh, so that uh, we ensure that uh, our township also benefit from tourism uh, like all the other areas so those are the things which we are looking at as a province so that we can be able to maximize tourism well, beautiful plans indeed um, but now you and i were having a conversation of a of a about uh, the number of people more so uh, in terms of uh, domestic tourism that not many south africans uh, take it upon themselves to visit areas such as this one how is uh, your department ensuring that uh, domestic tourism is promoted um, well, uh, we what we've started to do are starting to engage the products uh, owners of, of this establishment. I think that uh, uh, the way tourism uh, has been looked at, uh, there is a perception that is expensive, probably. Because how it started, it never catered for the majority of our people. So I'm engaging the owners of the establishment to say, hey, we've got this other market, which is in the main, it's our people. How do you accommodate them so that you can have packages that allows our people to travel in families, as families and also as group of friends? Because if you go now into any website, you will see that they are selling a room per bed. But we know very well that these people are growing, are going in a group. So you'd hardly find that accommodation for that. Probably it's getting a bit old. Maybe we, st we need the uh, young minds uh, to come into the sector so that we can develop uh, products which are young oriented. As you know, that as a province of Mpumalang, our 70% young anyway. 
All right. Well, and in terms of ensuring that uh, uh, the local community be, becomes part of these initiatives, as I was telling our viewers earlier on that uh, this uh, camp where we are 50% of it is owned by the local community. How is the department also, you know, assisting in such uh, instances? Uh, we're assisting in terms of uh, engaging uh, very soon. Uh, I'm sure you hear about the Tabisen Resort. Uh, we will be handing over once the process of the land claim is finalized. We're going to hand over the Tabisen to the uh, people, but we're not stopping there. We're then going to work with them to find people which they are going to work with them, like here at Nkambeni, so that the Tabisen can also come back to its glory where it was uh, in previous years. So what we do engage on behalf of these communities to get uh, people who can run with them because most often they don't have the necessary capacity to do so. Hence, this is a very example of success. Beautiful example indeed. Well, MEC will leave it for that and as they say, what happens in Rome stays in Rome. I'm not going to say anything about the blessers and such. Thank you so much for coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Well, there you have it. That's uh, the MEC for Economic Development, Finance and Tourism in Mpumalanga province. <laughs> Look at the MEC is finished. <laughs> Things that came out of the gala dinner yesterday. But let's take a break on Morning Live. There's still so much more to come from uh, uh, Bumalanga. Stay tuned.